I'm Miss Bope. We are at Godwin High School with Honors Chemistry and we are currently working on thermochemistry. So we are starting with Hess's Law. This is what we did last class. Um, can anybody tell me where we start when we have a Hess's Law problem like this? Yeah. We need to get the, um, we need to get the correct equation or the correct uh, formulas on each side. Okay, so when you say we need to get the correct formulas on each side, where do we start when we see a problem like this? So what do we start looking for? We look for, in the equations, like a specific line that we need to switch over, like 2H, 2S. It is on the other side of the sum equation, so we need to flip that equation. And once we do that, we have to make the 155 of that number. All right. So when we say it's on the other side, right now, this is located on which side? It's known as what? The product. The product. And in my given that I'm trying to create my equations from, it's a? Reactant. Reactant. Okay, so then I need to end up flipping this equation. And right now, in this direction, it is endothermic or exothermic. Do you remember? Endothermic or exothermic? Before I flip it. Right now, it's endothermic. How do I know it's endothermic? Because it is positive the delta H is positive. So when I have a positive delta H, that means energy is going where? Amen. Into the reaction. And so I have flipped it, so it's going in the opposite way. Now that it's going the opposite way, I need to change this delta H to okay. negative, and the negative represents what? <laughs> Very good. All right, and so once I've done that, what do I need to do to make sure I don't make any mistakes when I'm solving this problem? Cross it out. So I'm going to just eliminate this so I don't get confused later. All right. Do I need to flip anything else? Do I need to multiply anything? Am I ready to rock and roll? All right. Um, so what do I do now? I need to cross things out. What can I cross out? Anthony? The same element on the different sides of the equation. Right, so if I see it as a product and then again as a reactant, I can start eliminating. Do you have an example of one that we can start crossing out? Uh, 2S. 2S, all right. Looks like I can get rid of 2S. Yeah? 2SO2. 2SO2. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that here and here. Is there anything else? Yep. Can you get rid of 2H? Yeah. Okay. Can you get rid of 2H? Yeah. Is there anything else? Yep. 2H2O. Anything else? All right, so now we're going to just make sure that our equation matches. So what does 1 plus 2 give us? All right, we can do math. All right, and then the 2H2S is here, and my 2H2SO3 is here. So did I solve this correctly? Yeah, so that's how I know that I'm on the right track. So what do I do now? Am I done? No, I'm almost done. What do I need to do next? I need to add up all of those, all of the enthalpies. So I'm going to do negative 62 plus negative 297 plus negative 155. What did you guys get for that? Negative 514 is what I have. Yeah? All right. Very good. Um, what do we think? Where are we with this? We did this last time. Are we here? Are we here? Are we here? Okay, all right. So if we need more practice, we had to do that one worksheet, right? The one practice, and there's gonna be more, you know, on the other side and the keys are up and I can also see you before, before school if you need more help. All right, so we are gonna talk about bond energy today and we are gonna be using some of the information from first nine weeks, second nine weeks. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of review on the next slide. So right here, what do I have a picture of? Bonds. I have like some kind of molecule there, right? Okay. And then what we're depicting is heat energy going in. All right. And then what happens? What's the result? They break. So heat energy is going in. Heat energy is going in. So what does that mean? 
Endothermic, very good. So if I'm breaking bonds, that's what kind of reaction? Endothermic. endothermic. If I'm forming bonds, if breaking is endothermic, then forming would be exothermic. exothermic. Very good. So this is what we're going to be using to solve our bond energy today. So we're going to do bonds broken, the total amount of bonds that we're breaking, minus the total amount of bonds formed. And you're going to be given values for all of the different substances because they're going to have different values depending on what we're working with. Okay, so bonds broken minus bonds formed. That's what we're going to be doing. All right, you guys remember this? Yes. All right, Lewis dot structures. So we have this reaction right here. So I have O2 plus 2H2 yields 2H2O. I want you guys to start by just drawing the Lewis structures. And I put these guys up here as a little helpful guide, but what do you guys remember about Lewis structures? How do we know how many electrons to put? And what electrons are we putting? Are we doing all of them? Valence, valence electrons. What are valence electrons? Outer, Outer ring, very good. And how do I know? How do I know that hydrogen has one? Yeah. Very good, the column number, okay? So you are gonna need your periodic tables, but I do want you just for right now to draw out your Lewis structures. I would, so you don't get confused later, I would put heat energy in, bonds break, so then you know what's, what that was. So O2 gas, O2 gas, it has a special name, right? What kind of molecule is that? Diatomic molecule. What about the hydrogen gas? Also a diatomic. And how many electrons do we want to have? The atoms want to have how many? Eight, except hydrogen wants two. Very good. All right, so we've done our Lewis structures. Now we need to make sure that we're building those molecules. How do we build those molecules? How do we build them, Lewis structures? Yep. Very good. Yeah, we need to attach them. All right, are we ready to check our work? Do we have something like this? All right, so remember oxygen, we're gonna have a double bond there because if you just have one bond, does it have enough valence electrons? Right, so it doesn't have enough valence electrons here. Hydrogen's just gonna have one. Why do I dislike that picture? I couldn't find one with the Lewis structure that was correct, but it should be bent. That picture is showing what kind of shape? Linear, all right? So when we draw this to do, you know, how, do how do I want you to draw it? Uh, yeah, with the electrons where? Like up, kind of up at the top with the hydrogen. Yep, very good. All right, so what I'd like you guys to do now, let's, where you're sitting, we're going to put our desks together in groups of three to four. I have models up here. And what I want you guys to build is just the O2 and just the H2s to start. Okay, so you're going to need to have somebody come up here and get a model kit and just the reactants. Well, yeah, you can't move. So you're just going to push your desks together here. And then you use the wooden ones for a single bond. What about the... the, the ones that go out? Are there other ones with like... I guess they're because this one only has like one. I guess we need to find one with. Four. This one has four rounds, so we can use this. Yeah. Just, Just building the reactants to start. Is the spring available? You need two of those springs. That's a good one. Do you guys have more than one spring? Do you have two or three? Let's just go. Do you have 
Wait, Miss Bear. Did you say the the spring is a double bond? You need two springs. Two springs. So that way that you can show what's. You need two springs. Well, let's try it. What? Oh, okay. oh let's try it. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Like that's okay. Uh, no, now yeah, yeah. bend that over to the other. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. How much like that. Oh. Both yeah. of them bend. Oh. 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 No, just <laughs> one. You need two springs. So you're going to use springs for the double bonds, but you still need two of them. Is that it? Is that what we're So? <laughs> Ms. Bo, what else? Are we doing anything else? No, not yet. Okay, do you guys have the O2s done? Hold up your O2. Hold up your O2. All right, we just need one O2. All right, now do you have your H2s? All right. Yes, yes, yes. Do we have our H2s? We should have two of those. Okay, um, using just those, only the stuff that you use to build your H2s and O2s, I want you to rearrange them to form your products, okay? So rearrange those to form your products. It doesn't matter, you can use them as a single, it's fine. You're a disaster. I did what he said. What? Moderately, okay. All right, guys, do you have your two H2Os? Do we have our two H2Os? All right, now, this is what we have to do next. We need to calculate the energy that was involved breaking the bonds and then reforming bonds going from O2 and H2 to H2O. All right, so what was the formula? What did we do for that again? Um, bonds broken minus bonds, bonds form. Now, let's refer back to the pictures you have. So, we had how many double bonds? One. How many bonds do we have total for my hydrogen gas? Two. Two. And then what about water? Four. One, two, three, four. All right, I'm going to give you a second. Let's see if we can calculate it. Well, but you have the value for your double bond right here. So you're breaking just this double bond that has a value of 498. It's just that is the value for a double bond. I know you're. I know you're. I mean, I know that. Yep. Very good. It's all of the reactants minus all of the products. So what do we do? What do you guys have? Where are you stuck? That is not right. I mean, all of them. I mean, the hydrogen's had a four bonds because they're connected. Yeah, but we have the value for the double bond is 498. And then we have two H to H bonds, which is 436, right? So we need to do 498 plus. Yep. Uh huh. And then we subtract the four H to O bonds. Does that make sense? What'd you get? Maybe. I can't remember. Okay. Well, that will, that will do it. <laughs> Who has an answer? Are you still working? Answer or working? Okay. Hold on. Anybody else have an answer yet? Or are we still working? Do we have an answer? We have an answer. What What are we getting? Good job. All right. Do you guys have questions about this? Any questions? How do we feel? Good. Good. Good? All right. So now we're going to kind of bring together, you know, I love building, right? 
I love it so much. So we're going to create a balanced chemical equation involving nitrogen gas, hydrogen gas to create ammonia. Ammonia. And then you're going to draw the Lewis structures. Then you are going to build just the reactants and then have them checked by me. Okay? All right. You should be building all of the reactants, but none of the products. I hope you enjoyed the lesson today. Thanks for stopping by.